Hello, Spin Enthusiasts. Good morning. I know, I know. I'm not Sam. I'm sorry. I'm not nearly as stretchy bendy as Sam, and I'm not nearly as good of an example for your poses or anything like that. But Sam is out today, so I'm filling in. And we're going to do a lot of like stretchy stuff because I need it this morning. I got to get my blood flowing and get the day going. So um, go ahead and pull up my down dog. I'm very excited about camp next week. Remember, we won't have yoga next week because of camp. Um, basically, all of our normal social media stuff, so our product reviews, our uh, yoga live stream, um, the how-to color guard video, all that stuff's going to be on hold next week because we're going to be doing camp stuff, all of our virtual camp things. Um, I am going to put this, I'm sorry, I'm not as good as Sam, like I said, I'm putting it on beginner. We'll go beginner too. I'll stretch myself a little bit. All right. So, uh, I am, like I said, I'm very excited about doing the virtual camp next week. It's going to be really great. Okay, let's see. I'm going to set this on nature sounds. We don't get copyright ding for playing music. Cool. All right. Well, it's loading up now. Um, and I will put the link to this practice on Down Dog in the description. Um, hopefully you can see me all the way. I know a lot of times I put it on, I set it on like down poses only because it's hard to see me when I stand all the way up. It's hard to see what I'm doing. There's also a mirror over here. So like if you need to, you can see, well, you can see the mess and that's out of the room kind of, but you can kind of see in the mirror if I'm, I'm where my reflection is at. So. Um, but I said it so that hopefully I'm going to be staying down here the whole time. That's the idea is that I just want to do a lot of like stretchy floor stuff. So turn it up. So, okay, here goes. Begin. Lying back. Lay down and let the soles of the feet come together and your knees wide. Let one hand come to your heart and one hand to your belly and just be heavy here. Close your eyes and start to deepen your breath. Begin to arrive. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And one more inhale. the right foot down to the floor, both feet flat on the back, switching sides, right leg long, left knee to chest.
supine C shape. Inhale, right hand to left forearm. Exhale, C shape to the right. Big breath in, breathe space into the left side of the body. Exhale out and stretch. Another inhale, reach. Exhale. Exhale back to center. Supine C shape. Inhale, left hand, right forearm. Breathe out, C shape left. Breathe in here. Stretch the right side body. And exhale. Another breath in here. Grow longer. Exhale. by your sides. Grab behind your hamstrings and rock and roll up to a tabletop position. Puppy dog pose. Walk your hands out in front and let the chest fall toward the floor. Rest your forehead or your chin on the floor, but keep your hips over your knees. Lengthen through the shoulders. Inhale. Soften the chest toward the floor. Exhale. Breath in. Reach forward. Relax down. Exhale. Reset the hips over the knees if you need to. Slide forward onto your belly. Then push down from the tops of your feet and inhale to cobra. Lift your chest off the mat. Lighten the weight in your hands. Exhale, hold your throat back, inhale, press your hips down into the mat, exhale, drag the mat back with your hands to stretch through the front body as you inhale, exhale, lower the chest back to the mat, sphinx pose, walk your hands forward and prop yourself up onto your forearms. Inhale, pull the mat toward you. Engage your back. Stay here, breath out. Inhale, pull back. Open the front body. Stay here and breathe. Exhale, let everything come to the mat. Slowly bring your hands by your shoulders. Push up to tabletop. Kneeling side plank. Sit the right foot back and inhale. Sweep the right arm to the sky. Stay for the breath now. Take a breath in, rainbow the hips even higher. Come back to tabletop. Right hand to the mat. Side plank, knee down, second side. Inhale, left foot back, left arm to sky. Exhale, draw the belly in. Push the hips higher, inhale. Return to tabletop. Pigeon upright. Walk your hands a few inches forward and then bring your right knee toward your right wrist and lay your shin down in front. Keep the left knee on the mat and slide the left leg back. Check to make sure your left leg is straight behind you and the kneecap points down to the mat. Try to square the hips here. If your right hip is hovering off the ground, maybe slide a blanket under your right hip for extra support. If the hips are easily, you can deepen the pose we're heading in 
it to by crawling the right foot toward the left wrist. Don't worry about how far it goes, just try to find a place that feels comfortable for your right knee. Inhale here. And exhale, fold forward over the front thigh. a lot of pressure on my knee. Makes me think I'm not doing it correctly. Come back to center. Rise back up. Find tabletop once again. Pigeon upright to the left side. Walk the hands forward a bit and move your left knee to your left wrist and lay the shin down. Slide the right leg back inches, kneecap points down. Again, take a moment to square the hips. Use a folded blanket under the left hip if it's hovering off of the mat. If the hips are already square, to deepen the hip stretch, move the left foot gently forward toward the right wrist. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Again, I'm modifying, really can't do this on my knee. This is my bad knee too on this side. <laughs> There's a difference in understanding like pain, like uncomfort, like discomfort and just not being able to do something and pain like you're actually hurting yourself. So understanding that difference in your body is really important. Breathe in, in the spine. 
Exhale, walk the hands forward and fold. Relax the head and the neck. Stick here and breathe. Allow gravity to bring you closer to the legs. Extend your right leg to the sky, left leg long to the mat, and interlace your hands behind your right hamstring. Then gently pull the leg in toward your face.
spine, IT band stretch. Inhale, right hand holds the left leg. Left thumb hooks into the hip crease. Exhale, glue the left hip to the mat and take the leg across to the right. Take a few deep breaths here. Like I said, I will put the link to that in the description of the video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed doing yoga with me this morning. And like I said, next week, no yoga, but we should be picking it up after that. Come to virtual summer camp, guys. Uh, registration is on our website, spintronicsguard.org slash events. And classes are only $6 each and you can get a discount where they're only five dollars each if you sign up for at least five of them so anyway bye guys thanks for coming and watching and doing yoga with me this morning <laughs>